Hey guys, what's up? This is Inventor Guy 16 and today I'm going to be doing a video on the Druk buck converter or programmable buck converter. So, I have a video of one of, of this that I did a couple years ago when I was explaining on how to use it, but Basically, when I did that video, I didn't really know what I was doing fully. I didn't understand how to explain it properly and make it simple for people to understand. But basically, when you get one of these things brand new, it is set to only one program, or only one program slot is set. And it's set to like maybe 12 volts at 3 amps or something like that. And that's what it'll be set to when you first plug it in and when it first brings it up on the screen. But... It has 10 programmable slots, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to get, do that. So if we want to go into programming, we hold down the set button, and then F0 is the save program, or it's the save function. So when you are in F0, you click set, and then you can pick whatever program you want to save and then when you hit OK it will save that program so this program is saved which I had this one set to 58.8 volts at 7 amps for this 30 amp hour uh, lithium ion phosphate battery so let's say we want a new program that we can use and we don't want to have to change this because this takes forever to get from a from 0 to 58.8 which this module only goes up to 60 I think it's only 60 volts that this goes up to but we're going to go ahead and go to it start a new program so F0 is save F1 is load so, if we go into load, we can pick a program slot, and we can call it up and program it. So, we're going to go into programs, or program slot 6, which I have this, which it's not set to anything. So, the voltage value is just dropping because it's dumping the power out of the capacitors that were used for the program I had set for this. So it's going to slowly drop down to zero. It'll get there eventually, but what we're going to do here is I'm going to go in and we're going to pick run or set. So this is when it's the screen is like this and there's no symbol or no num no letter or whatever, that means that you're in voltage. So we can use the up arrow to choose a voltage. So let's just say we want 12.5 volts or something. We can hold down this button. We can do it in increments of 0.01 increments as well, but that takes forever. But hold down the button to get to where you want to be, and then you can fine-tune it once you get to a certain point. So let's just do 12.5 volts. 12.5 volts and then if we hit set again it'll bring us into amperage so we can go in and choose an amperage let's just do two amps and right now these leads are not on because your lights are not on so right now it's safe to use it so when you first if you when you turn it on the red light on the top will turn on, and one of these two lights down here will turn on. So we turned it on. Now it's on. And we're putting out 12.5 volts. And what the green light means is it's a, it's at constant voltage. So the voltage is capped out right now. So it's at its highest voltage you have it set to for this it's at the high it's at the set voltage that you want when that light comes on that means you're at your set voltage and let's say if you put a load on it then that light will turn off 
and your constant current light will come on. And that means you've reached your limit that you have set for your current. So it will not push anything more than whatever your current is set to. So let's just say we're charging a battery at 12.5 volts. And now we're at our amperage. It will not put out more than two amps because that's what I have the upper limit set to. So that red light will come on and it will only put out two amps until I t program it to go up higher. So now that we're in this program, let's say we wanted to leave, keep it where you wouldn't accidentally hit one of these buttons because if you hit one of these buttons, you could actually knock it up. And if you're dealing with sensitive batteries or, or if you're sensitive electronics that can't handle any kind of a, a difference in the voltage that you have set or you can't, afford to put anything more than what you have set, then you can lock the keypad. So what you do is you turn off the system or you, or you turn off the output, which is pretty much by setting, hitting the set button. That's your off switch. When you're in a set program, that's just your off switch. So you push it, it turns it on, push set, it turns it off. So when you're in the program and none of the lights are on if you hold down the OK button it will and you're in the voltage value it will lock the keypad so see I'm trying to change the voltage it's not gonna let me so that's what that lock symbol does to unlock this you go into the amperage setting and it will turn it on but you go into the amperage setting or actually, no, you don't have to have it turned on. You can go into amperage setting while it's turned off, and then you hold down, and it'll unlock it. So now I can change my values. And you can do that when it's running or when it's not. So you can lock and unlock the arrow, the adjustment keys whenever this thing is running or whenever it's not by doing that. So remember, if we go to voltage, keep pushing that. When it's not on, you don't use that to change uh, what you're at but we go to voltage hit ok and lock hold it it, clo it locks it in place so now I can't change my value but go to amperage hold ok it unlocks it so now I want to show you a new f another feature on this that's really useful so we're gonna go into my program that I have set for this battery Right click. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this guy in. Come on, plug in, plug in. There we go. That little pop was it. It. And if you have, if you're dealing with higher voltages or really any voltage, it will arc. But that's just it charging up the capacitors because it has two big capacitors on the output side right here that it charges up. But we're gonna go ahead and hit OK and start up the program. I'm charging a e-bike battery or my bike bat or power battery, which this one's really been dead. It's been dead for a while. But I haven't had charged it, but we're see we're, right now our constant voltage light is on because even though I have this set to 58.8 volts right now, what I'm tr using is I'm using a solar system setup. So It'll, that light will come on when it reaches the maximum potential voltage, either the voltage you have set or the voltage that it's having given to the system. So, Or if you're not getting enough amperage either, it'll also do that. So right now I have it set to 7 amps, but we're only getting 4.9 amps from the solar. So that constant current light will not come on, but that constant voltage light will come on saying that it will reach that cap voltage and it won't and it won't go beyond that but anyway so i'm going to show you the next feature which is if you're in one of your set values while the system's running it has to be running in order to do this but when you're in one of your set values while the system is running you hold down the button for volt when you're in the voltage setting yeah when you're in the voltage setting you hold down okay and then it will give you how long the system has been online since you've plugged it in or since you've been in or how long you've been using it in that program that you that you're at 
it'll tell you how long it's been running. So, we go out of that one, and if we go to amperage, this one's very useful, for especially if you're charging batteries and trying to figure out how much power you've put in to the battery or how much power you've taken off of it, or how much power you've put out on the output side. You hold that and then this capac a C comes up, that means capacity, and we're at 2.2. That means I've put 2.2 amp hours into this battery. So, very useful f um, functionality of this thing. So, there's one other um, thing that you can do on here, which is to set a, um, you can set it to automatically turn on your output when you plug it in, which I would not recommend doing that if you do not, if you're using this thing for multiple different voltages and all that stuff. If you're not using it for multiple different voltages and you're, want it for just one particular thing or if you're using it for multiple different voltages do not do do not set it to that because it could you could damage something because you wouldn't if you program it and you forget what you program it to and then you want to plug something in or you plug it in accidentally without setting it it could blow it could blow up or, or break whatever it is that you're trying to do but if we go to our program keys if we go to F2 there is a YO1, so or YO0. So pretty, pretty much what that means is it controls. It's pretty much saying yes output or yes output on or yes output off. So one means on, and zero means off. So what that means is when you plug this thing in, if it's in on the on position you will get your you will get power going through this immediately once this thing is plugged in and it will be set to whatever program zero is it'll always whenever you unplug this board and plug it back in it'll always reset to program zero it'll keep the memory of what that program is set to but it's always going to reset to that program so let's say you have it set to program two and you want and you plug it in thinking you're going to or you unplug it to change a battery or to do something and then you plug it back in and you and the board restarts it's going to start up in program number or program memory 0 so it's always going to do that but basically what this does is this lets these be on so if you're going to use this thing for one primary pr primary reason you pro or run primary battery or whatever you program that program that you want into program zero and that way you can unplug this thing and then plug it back in and it'll already be set up to whatever it is that you want and it will immediately start putting power and that's useful for solar applications that's what i'm using this for right now actually so so right now the reason it was off is because i had turned it off before i'd gone into that so but um, anyway, I hope that helps. I know it was a long video, but I wanted to go over pretty much everything that there is with this. There is some other settable parameters with this thing, but I don't know what they are, and I can't find them in the manual or whatever. But I'm not going to mess with them or show you them because I don't know what they are. But basically, I've just gone over pretty much everything you can do with this thing out of the box without needing... Um, without having to look into the forums and all that stuff because I don't know what those other programs do, but... Basically, that's what all you can do with this thing. And I wanted to be able to do a full video on it and explain everything in detail from start to finish. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Stay cool, YouTube. Mm, bye.